find something new. I'm gonna be doing a review that rhymed rhyme all the time. Hey, hey, hey. What? I'm sorry. Like this picture? He's a monkey. Anyway, you've seen that already. But today I'm gonna be doing a review. Something new. Anyway, well, today we'll be doing a review on this gun right here. That's right. I'm doing a freaking tour review. And this will be a new thing. I will do reviews on the toys I get. Christmas is coming up. So you know what that means. That means a lot of unboxings. That means a lot of unboxings. That means a lot of reviews. That means a lot of everything. Anyway. Let's get started on this review. So, ho, 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 let's get started. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So, this is the Busby Air Warriors Hawk. All right. And this is a really, really nice gun. Like, really, really nice. So, we're going to be going over the features. These are all the things we're going to cover. Features. Uh, the looks of the gun. Um, you know, what it can do, kind of, you know, like, uh, firing, pros, cons, stuff like that. Alright? So, yeah. First off, features of this gun, what you will get. You will get the initial gun, four bullet mag, four Busby bullets, which are, um, which are kind of just these yellow bullets with the suction cups. And you might be wondering what these, like, orange things are. They're actually bullet shells, which is another reason why I really, really like Busby. Because you put them in these bullet shells and it adds a sense of realism. And trust me, there's a purpose for these. And uh, yeah, so you get four of these. Alright, you get a mag. Um, you know, just the overall gun, that's basically it. We got storage area for four bullets, but it's meant to hold four extra bullets. So... Which, it does not come with you to buy them. It has one of these mechanisms. I'm not exactly sure what it's called again, but you kind of pull this up. Yeah. Pull it back. Pull it closed. Fire. Okay, so now let's go over how to use this gun. First off, as you can see, you're going to take each bullet. And yes, Nerf bullets work with this. Some, not all, some Nerf bullets work with it. But... So you're simply just going to put this inside there, and then bam, you do that four times. Now the way you got to load this is you kind of slip it in there, and you want to push down while pushing it against the wall of this thing. Alright, so it's kind of like, so you're kind of doing this. So you're pushing down while pulling inwards, like that. So it fits in there, like that. And you're just going to do that four times. All right, so we got bam, three, four, and does not work with five, does not work with six, works with four, nice and great. Now, um, you, you got to insert this into here, kind of find up where it lines up, and just slam it in. All right, to remove the mag, make sure you press this button. I mean, you can just pull it out. But that's not good for the magazine or the gun. It's best just to hold down the button and pull it out. Alright. How to load this thing. Pull this up. You can do it sideways or you can do it upwards. Kind of do it upwards. And watch. You kind of just pull this. And as you can see right there, we have a bullet in there. And it's just being blocked by this green thing. So once you pull it, bam bullet gets pushed right up in there and then when you close it it's being pushed into the chamber of the gun which is right here as you can see bullets loaded up in there and then you just press the trigger like bam and then you do that again and now this is why the busby gun is so cool now remember how there was bullet shells look the shell is still in there so it's like, how do I get it out? The gun ejects the bullet! Look! Did you see that? And now the new bullet's nice and in there. Bam. So you shoot it. Oh. I'll talk about that a little later. 
put it in, bam, bam, bam. Now, let's go over the firing. So let me get my target ready. Okay, I'll be back in like one second. Okay, so we got the gun here. Oop, fully loaded up, right there. Now this is going to be kind of awkward to do, but I'm just going to pull this back. Alright, and let's look at the fire of this thing. Let's look at the firing power. Um, it actually... Now the accuracy is actually pretty good, so as you can see we got the aim right there and just... See that? Nice and powerful, really powerful. And uh, let's just get that shell ejection on camera. Saw that? There you go. You gotta pull it all the way back until you until um you don't hear any more clicking or feel any more clicking. Fire again. All right. And bam. And now we're out. But yeah, um, that's kind of just me firing. Uh, the firepower is actually pretty good. Um, I think the accuracy is about um. Um, 85% of the time. Bam. Alright, anyway, so now let's get into the pros and cons of uh, 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 this gun. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so pros and cons of the gun. A lot, um, pros. No, 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 we'll say cons first. Cons. I'm going to be honest here, alright? Every now and then, it gets kind of, the, the, the thing gets stuck. Alright, so I've noticed if you do it really slow like that, I mean, it will eject, but I don't think it's going to eject as well or smoothly. And it kind of helps to be a little bit on a tilt when you're doing it, so you're kind of just like... That was a thing. That's another thing. If you're doing it too fast, sometimes when you're going really fast, you kind of push this upwards. When you do that, it kind of gets stuck. You know, so you got to really be careful with that. Um, and the accuracy isn't exactly amazing, but it's pretty good. The range, I would say, is around 30 to 35 feet. Yeah, yeah, around that range because, I mean, it'll make it to that range and stop, but on the way kind of does travel downwards a little bit. It's not just going to go straight on because you need a lot of power to do that. Um, yeah. So I think that's my only cons right now. Or that the mag, not a huge problem at all. Um, kind of just got to do it right. You can kind of just do this. Never mind. I was going to say the mag's kind of hard to get out, but it's really not. Uh, so that's a pro. Alright, let's go back to pros. Um, really easy. I mean, it'll take some time to get used to when first doing this. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to stop that little situation where it's getting kind of caught, don't do it up. Do it sideways. There we go. Still gets stuck sometimes, but that's it barely ever happens. I'm just doing it right now, of course, when there's a camera in front of me, and I'm rushing it too much. But, um, yeah, the more and more you do it, it gets easier, nice power, I would say. In my opinion, I think it's really good firing power. Not amazing, but I think it's really good. Um, like I said, accuracy is okay. Oh, another con. Doesn't come with extra bullets, but I get it. It's a business thing. They want you to buy more. Whatever. That's just how toys really work. I just love the overall look of the gun. It just looks really cool. Like, Yeah, that's another con. The stock isn't too comfortable to put under your armpit or anything so you kind of just press it against it and just but yeah uh that's basically it would i recommend buying this frick yes hope you all enjoyed my first ever review and i'll 